welcome to the third episode of Hilux testing. Are Hiluxes as durable as Top Gear says they are? Can you actually drop them 10,000 feet and they still run just fine? We find out tomorrow. But today, we're here with the Diesel Brothers in uh, Afghanistan. You never see ISIS driving like Ford Rangers or Honda Ridgelines, and it's always like, why? They have today actual- we find out why the Hilux is the terrorist vehicle of choice. Yeah, terrorist vehicle. <laughs> They've been here several times, so, they're uh, being kind enough to guide us around today. Yeah, they go to Afghanistan all the time. Well, you you bought a place down here. I have a, yeah, well, a VRBO yeah, down the road here. Yeah. We're gonna hit, take this thing to some of the most aggressive terrain that we could possibly find and see after all that it's been through, it's been through. As much as, as much as I could put it through in like the time I've had it and somehow, nothing has broken absolutely nothing except the windshield like nothing has actually broken it's just like a little beat up so today's gonna be all out like as hard as we can possibly like by the end of the day my goal is to to break something i'm gonna see if i was the most evil terrorist on planet earth if he could break a toyota hilux Let's air down. You have a lot of air in that tire. Try climbing that hill with a solid 90 PSI. <laughs> Old semi truck pressure over here. We'll try this again. <laughs>
so rough. But not really. It's doing really good, actually. One end is consistently getting lower because the leaves are bending. The leaves, here. the leaves are bent, so this is just hitting everything. But, but uh, as long as we keep our speed up, it's just it's limp, it's flopping its way over literally everything. So. Some of us just can't keep up out here. You know, it's difficult terrain and uh, it's really hard on these drivers and these vehicles. And uh, you know, if you don't have enough skill, um, you're not gonna make it. And I think that really showed today the Diesel Brothers performance. Um, so now I'm just gonna have to cruise right on up this while they watch me. <laughs> Do I need to pull ya? It's in drive though. <laughs> That's it, I'm buying a high look. That's so damn impressive. So these came with the truck. They're like the, the original, like, this is like the promo pamphlet for it, I guess. It's all Japanese, <laughs> but this is every model. They call it a cockpit instead of a cap. They had Tyson? It's super strong. Tyson? Laser, laser, th oh, it's a three liter. Three liter, super strong because be. Tyson says so. <laughs> I don't that know how- like, That was like is, right around the is... bite the ear era too. Yeah. That was super, super strong. This is pretty, it, so the cup holders, they got like an orange juice in the cup holder. And it, anyways, it's just like, this yeah, is, there's this no is, lid on that cup there. this is really good. That's legit. This is really cool. Like, like they show all the models and everything. This is like the, the maintenance owner's manual and stuff. You would never need to open this after all is I've done to motor? this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shaking his hand. How to have a good relationship with your motor. Shaking his hand. Like, like they really cared a lot. Like they had someone draw this whole thing out, like how to take care of your Dude, honestly, this depresses me. I, Nobody they, cares like this anymore. Yeah. No, they don't, they don't. They'd be like, here's your truck. Like, that's anyways. Hold on, they make a van version? I guess. Oh yeah, that's with the, the uh, Hilux Ace. And they were really hardcore on that. But van. yeah, anyways, it's really cool. Cause this stuff, oh, that is, that's awesome. This has like never been open, you know, cause it, there was no problems with the truck. Yeah, that's probably why they quit making them. Because they didn't have they, any problems. No, they would never sell another one because no ones would break down. They wouldn't have like... Yeah. Nobody ever looked at the books. Like you buy a modern truck, anything. you're a recurring customer because it breaks next week. So I'm about to ride passenger up Hell's Gate. I don't ride passenger really anywhere in anything, let alone with Cody. Here's something you've never seen before. Heavy D getting well, in the passenger the side. side. Right hand side. What? Straddle it. Straddle it. Yep, stay yep. a little bit right. You gotta stay high on that side over there. Them to be harder. That was like I piece of cake. Gate I've ever been on in my entire life. That was I nothing. The truck might... That's the most impressive. That was good. Truck I've ever seen. That was really good. Really good. broken yet literally nothing oh really now this guy in the hilux is gonna try and come down the hill well, that's a true tour. 
Yeah, man. We get it, man. You got a Hilux. You can do it all day. Oh. What, you gonna do this in reverse now? No. Nice save! Nice correction. This guy's nuts. <laughs> this guy's nuts. All my wrenches flew out. Oh, yeah. I lost all my, were they in the bed? Oh, my. Oh. Yeah, I think I should have pulled that oil out before we started. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, that <laughs> impact is, that might not run again. All right, so we fixed the radiator fan. Uh, unfortunately, now, the wire uh, in front of the crankshaft or in front of the pulley uh, got worn in. So we don't have a fan to cool it anymore. So we're hoping the airflow on the way back will keep it cool. We got a three mile journey back and uh, it's pretty rough stuff. So we're gonna try to keep our speed up above like 40 mile an hour so we get that air flowing through there. So just pedal to the metal the whole way back. All right, here we go. Three miles through the desert, no cooling. Here's the ultimate test right here. Traffic, you got 
got traffic. miles through the roughest through the roughest freaking trails with no coolant the entire way like halfway down halfway through it's done wheezing out the last bit of coolant listen to me look at me right now i don't get impressed easily i really 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 don't i right now am baffled i'm dumbfounded i am legitimately blown away at what just happened what i just witnessed cody just put this thing in fourth gear and just outran the razor and the full-blown race car out of one of the roughest trails like, I can, I've been I on. I can see the, the handyman jack like this high in the bed. The Dude. window popped out, but just hung here. It's not even broken. This is the most tough, like this is the toughest vehicle I've ever seen in my ever. entire life. So you can finish your outro. Watch, watch me, watch me, know. watch me. It'll like start first fire. So it has no coolant in it. And hey, the AC still works too, so. Um, <laughs> what else could we do? I have an idea. That could possibly be harder on it. I have an idea. What? This is ridiculous. All right, there you have it, guys. As hard as I could possibly be on it. Nothing broke. Next test, final episode, maybe. Coming up tomorrow. But nothing is, is uh, dented. Like, the, the fuel tank has a little dent right there. I don't even think that's from today, but... None of this stuff is, is beat up or dented under here at all. This is a two-piece drive shaft and there's no vibration or anything like the carrier bearing is holding up. So I'm not sure why Dodge failed so bad at that. But um, nothing nothing looks out of place. There's literally not even like oil all over the transfer case. So once again, not sure why every other manufacturer has problems with everything. You can see the front axle here. So we, I don't know if they call this a uniball or whatever, but it's, it's like one big ball joint. So. That's why we didn't have to worry about any of this breaking is because the entire axle has to break off for this the ball joint to break. So um, those are insanely durable. There's several times I saw like the whole wheel kind of do this and like pivot in and it just like went right back. So <laughs> this tie rod, like these tie rods here, they're not like that big, but it's not bent at all. Like none of the steering stuff is bent. Everything is perfectly straight. Um, it looks like we hit some rocks with this, but but nothing broke or cracked there because it's not cheap cast metal. Um, our oil pan is protected by this axle. So, yeah, you can see here the steering rod hit the oil pan right there. This strap broke. What strap? <laughs> this strap that was holding our truck down. <laughs> <laughs>
yes, we climbed this entire mountain just for this one shot of me holding the map here. Um, took like six hours, five, five hours probably. Um, I feel like, I mean, not just YouTube, but it, it's pretty obvious. Like a lot of people are like, oh, like, oh, he gets so many views, but this is why. Like I, I climbed a mountain to get a five second shot. And it's the people that aren't willing to climb a mountain to get a five second shot that that don't they don't get there you know that's the difference like if you're willing to put in that amount of work it's gonna come back out like and there's stuff like this i could do this whole shot and it wouldn't even work and i just leave it out like all up for nothing but it's like okay well sometimes it'll pay off so it's just a lot of times if there's something that you think is like worth doing just go ahead and do it like or don't half-ass it like i could have climbed halfway up the mountain did it but that wouldn't be the same as climbing all the way up the mountain so Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Tomorrow is what you've all been waiting for. We're about 10,000 feet off the ground. Yeah, no, we're like 11,000. 10 or 11,000. We're 10 or 11,000 feet off the ground right now. And um, from what I hear, my Hilux can easily, easily drive that high off the ground if it needed to and come back down very quickly. So anyways, what you all been waiting for, Toyota Hilux, I think you know what's coming. Um, probably the final video tomorrow. Um, but anyways, join us tomorrow and um, it's gonna be fun. We got Diesel Brothers too. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, have a great night.